Hey guys, I cannot believe we have over 100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys all so much for your support. Please comment below, let me know what kind of video you want me to make for you. And the comment that gets the most likes, I will make a video on that topic for all of you. Thank you guys so much for your support. And for those of you who are new here, I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon. And today I'm gonna to be reacting to a children's TV show about a character with a long, huge, uncontrollable penis. This is a Danish cartoon that was created for children. And the theory behind it is that, you know, it's something to joke about and also a way to start having discussions about genitals with your children. And so let's check it out. Hey, John D. Love it. John Dillamant, John Dillamant, and I got this thing to Dillamant. Ooh, did they almost cut his penis? That's horrible. That is the ticket on the ticket can. Maybe. Hank is being the Lord. Hank is being the Lord. Is a pogo stick? There's a laughing clown. John Dillamant, John Dillamant, John Dillamant. Oh, boom. John Dillamant, John Dillamant, John Dillamant. Okay, so I'm not really sure how I feel about this yet. I guess I see the humor in it, but I just worry that kids watching this might think that it's okay to do all these funny tricks with their penis, which is not okay and very, very dangerous. I mean, they had him near scissors, near animals, a gun shooting at the, the balloons that were holding his penis. I mean, that's really frightening. Oh, men Dylan visste lige, hvad der skulle gøres. Og hvad var bedre til det end en ordentlig omgang? Of course he's cooking sausages. Skulle jo have tændt den grill. Nej, sagde Ollemor. Pas på tændvæsken. Det er farligt. Why is his penis on fire? Oh my god, is the whole episode like this? And and why does it retract? That's not normal either. Like your penis doesn't just like come out, you know, like a snake and and do work for you and then come back. I just I don't get it. Og dealeren vil heldigvis gerne hjælpe ham med hundene. Jeg skal bare have en pose grillpølser, råbte John til købmanden. Jeg så gerne et dealer. Værsgo. Nej, tak. Okay, I guess that he's trying to problem solve with his penis so that he can walk the dogs and get lunch at the same time? Maybe that's part of what they're trying to teach them in this episode? I don't know. John var videre blive godt skør af alt det hundelufteri, men så tog dealeren affære. Rimelig heldigt, at hundene var lige så glade for grillpølser, som John var. I do not advise using your penis to hold food for animals. No. Sej måde at gå tur på, råbte børnene. Ja, det er jo smart. Men så skete der noget, John ikke lige havde tænkt på. This is like eerily a reminder of Mr. Bean. Remember that show? I mean, it just like reminds me very much of that. Like just doing these ludicrous things to figure out your day to day. I guess it's comical, but for me as a urologist, who's one of my primary jobs is to correct problems with the male genitalia, this is not, this gives me a lot of anxiety. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, in real life, that would be very, very painful and very, very traumatic. I'm sure he's just gonna get up and keep going, but like... If you suffer a trauma to the genital region, you can certainly watch it and see, but if the pain does not get better over time and the swelling gets significantly worse, which it will in the beginning, if you have any trauma to the genitals, you might notice your scrotum gets swollen, even your penis gets swollen, but if it becomes painful and swollen and you are having difficulty urinating or you're seeing a lot of black and blue and you're not sure, come in to the emergency room to make sure, one, that you have an injury 
injured the urethra or the P-tube, and two, to make sure that you haven't injured the erectile tissue bodies of the penis, because when you do, they can bleed quite a bit, and they can actually cause a lot of swelling and sometimes need surgical correction. So yes, it's okay to wash it for a little while, but if it continues to get worse and it's not getting better and the swelling's getting worse, it's very black and blue, sometimes we call this like an eggplant penis, or if you have a, a big bruise on your bottom, those are maybe signs that you should go into the emergency room. Ah. Og så gik han Again, the problem solving, but Jesus, the injuries. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So yes, he did some problem solving. He got all the animals back in the truck after they ran off, but at what injury? So if you get an animal injury to your genitals, please do not wait. Come into the emergency room again for the same reasons I talked about. You could have an injury to the penis, the erectile tissue that could require surgery, or you could have an injury to the urethra or the P-tube. So make sure you come in. And if you have an injury to the testicles, like a bite to the testicles, you absolutely have to come in. These are things that need to be washed out. Dog bites are very, very dirty. So you need to be washed out, cleaned, get antibiotics, and make sure that there's no major injuries to your genital structures. So yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. I, I guess, you know, I'm obviously looking at it from a very different lens from the way a kid would watch it or the way a person who doesn't take care of penile injuries <laughs> would watch. But I guess if it works for the Danish population and it's creating discussion about your penis, that's not a bad thing. But I just think as a woman, I don't think that I would want a female version of this show where like a woman's vagina is like going out and coming in, I don't know. Also, I do wonder, like, are kids going to say, like, why is John's penis so long and mine not that long? Like, is that what normal is? Actually, what I found out was that Dillermand is actually, like, slang for pee, pee or weenie. Um, so his name is actually, like, pee, pee man or, you know, weenie man as a joke. Anyways, I hope you guys liked that. I know there wasn't that much education today, but thank you so much for watching. And always remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.